What will Calgary look like in the near future? There are a lot of projects currently being developed and some that are still being planned out that could change the look and feel of this city. My name is Ryan Gillard at Real Broker, your Calgary Realtor, and in this video, I'll go over some of these projects that are being built and some that are still being planned out. So this is a video that you're not gonna wanna miss. Before we get into it, as usual, if you are thinking of buying, selling, or relocating to Calgary, I'd love to help you out and be a resource. You can contact me. I'm fairly easy to get a hold of. All my information is in the written description below. Call, text, email, comment. You can check out my website. You can search all properties with my website. You can also request a home evaluation. And I have, uh, and I have uh, some free guides for you as well. Buyer's guide, seller's guide, and a relocation guide. Okay, let's get right into it. All right, first things first, let's talk about one of the major developments coming to the Calgary area in the near future, and that is the Culture and Entertainment District. All right, so let's talk about the Culture and Entertainment District. And first up, let's actually figure out where it is on the map here. So I pull up the Google Maps, and it's this section right over here. So this is the downtown commercial core, all these yellow spots over here. And it's walking distance. This part over here is the Culture and Entertainment District. Now, if you're familiar with Calgary, you might have been here for like the, the Calgary Stampede or maybe a Calgary Flames game or the odd convention, but it's definitely one of the more underutilized parts of the city considering how good the location is. But that is set to change because there's massive developments uh, happening in this area right now and in the near future. And I think it will become a very lively spot. And I'll show you on this map kind of what the idea is behind this neighborhood. So it be different sections to it. You'll have the Stampede Park over here new uh, event center and hockey arena where the Calgary Flames will play will be over here. The current convention center is um, under construction, it's being renovated. And you'll see all sorts of different shops, uh, buildings. It's gonna be a very lively area, which I'll, which I'll touch on as we go forward here. So I'm just on their website here. I'll give you a, kind of an idea of what's happening in this, uh, this future development. It's gonna be a vibrant mixed use community. And it's gonna be a very tourist centric place that's uh, kind of evolving around sports, gathering, entertainment, uh, business. Should be a fun place to, to visit. And the idea behind this neighborhood, it should have 8,000 new residents, 500 plus events per year, and 3 million visitors annually. So again, it'll be a hub for the arts, sports, and business. And I'll actually pull up the map here. It is in a prime location. You're walkable to the, the downtown part of Calgary. You're walkable to the Beltline also to Mission, Earlton, Cliff Bungalow, all of the different shops and restaurants on 17th Avenue. They're actually extending 17th Avenue into this part of town. You've got easy access to the East Village. You've got the zoo over here. So it, it'll just be a prime part of the city going forward. And next up, let's talk about the new event center. So this is also within the Culture and Entertainment District. It's right here, the event center. So if you're curious, the, new, the, the current Saddle Dome where the Flames play is right here. It's going to be demolished, and the new event center will be a new state-of-the-art arena for the Calgary Flames. It'll also be a community arena for the public, so you can have like organized beer league hockey, shinny, public skating, stuff like that. It'll also be a new meeting place, and the new event center, I think it will attract some new bands, like some big bands, you know, events, performances, you know, festivals and stuff like that. At the moment, the Saddle Dome, it doesn't attract the, the really big bands. I think our, the, the acoustics of the Saddle Dome are pretty bad, I've heard. And it's also fairly old and dated. So I, I think this will definitely help the city attract some of the bigger artists, um, which should spill off into the local economy. So I do think it's a good thing. Next up, let's talk about the BMO Center expansion. Now, this is also in the same area. It's this section right over here is the BMO Center. And I'll just put this away. So the BMO Center... It's uh, just a convention center within the Stampede grounds. Uh, I've been here many times. I thought it was quite large before the expansion, um, but uh, they're adding on to it. It looks like a very, very cool building, very futuristic looking. And uh, the update for it on June 2023, they mentioned that the BMO Center expansion is on track and on budget open for Stampede 2024, so July of next year. And the actual project, when completed, It'll be, it'll be Western Canada's largest convention center with over 1 million square feet, with 100,000 square foot of new exhibition space added onto it, 38 meeting rooms, two ballrooms, totaling 70,000 square feet, and it'll be modernized as well. And it's right in the heart of Stampede Park. And so this has been here for a while before the expansion, um, but I think when you're, when you're adding on all the other stuff into this area, 
it should really be a lively place going forward. Now, as a realtor, I've been to many conventions um, throughout North America, Vegas a whole bunch of times, like Toronto, Vancouver, and stuff like that. Um, conventions do add a lot of money to the economy, like you're spending money on flights, hotels, touristy activities, you know, bars and restaurants. So if we're adding on to this and we fill it up, I, I do think it'll help the Calgary economy going forward. And uh, you can see here, creating this uh, project, 5,000 full-time jobs just on the construction phase of it. And then when it's finally fully open, about 1,500 permanent jobs just to maintain the facility. So I do think it will be a, a driver for the Calgary economy going forward. And next up, let's talk about 17th Avenue Extension, Stampede Crossing, and the future Stampede Trail. So I'm actually going to pull up the Google Maps here. It might be a little easier. So what we're talking about here, again, we're in the same area, the Culture and Entertainment District, and they're improving the connections along McLeod Trail. Doesn't sound all that interesting, but I think it will help flow traffic from the Beltline downtown into the Stampede Park. At the moment, actually before the construction started, it used to be like a cement barricade, kind of from around here all the way up to over here. So it was a cement barricade with fencing. You couldn't easily access this part of the, the Stampede grounds. There's only, a, I think, one or two bridges that you had to go over. And so the idea behind this is just to make it flow a bit easier into this part of town. As you can see from this photo, the actual stampede tracks are at uh, street level now. And it just should be a little easier to get into this part of town. And it will also connect 17th Avenue, all the, the shops and restaurants. So I'll actually show you the map again here. So 17th Avenue, also called the Red Mile. This is where all of the bars and restaurants are. And not all of them, but most of them are kind of along the street. And... Um, it should help access the flow of traffic from 17th Avenue into the Stampede grounds. And the Stampede Trail, this is the Culture and Entertainment District's Main Street enabling future commercial and retail development and the future home to sidewalk patios and new businesses. It's designed with the gathering in mind. This pedestrian-friendly scene ties together the BMO Center, the Saddle Dome, the extended 17th Avenue, the new BMO Convention Center Hotel, Arts and Culture, and is the main connector into Stampede Park. So it is basically the hub, and I should mention the Saldo will be demolished and the new event center will be in its place. Next up, let's talk about Stephen Avenue. Now this is kind of like the market street of the downtown core. This is where you'll see a lot of the, the shops, the restaurants, the dining, the stores and stuff like that. I'll actually show you on the map a little easier. So Stephen Avenue, so here's the downtown of Calgary, the downtown commercial core, and Stephen Avenue is on, also known as 8th Avenue, it's the same same street basically and at, at the moment it kind of runs from city hall over here to about i think about fifth street this is referred to as stephen avenue now the plans are to actually extend it all the way to 11th street i, I will touch on that going forward but as you can see in the, in the background it is a very lively place um, the problem with this part of town is that it's kind of busy nine to five monday to friday and then after hours, it kind of, uh, people empty out of the downtown core. So a big part of this downtown strategy is to get people to stay downtown, to make it more lively, to make it safer. And that's kind of the idea behind the Stephen Avenue plan. And I'll show you here. So November 2023 update, um, they've released kind of images of what they're trying to do. So this is definitely going ahead, but they're still planning in the planning stages. I'll actually zoom in here so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, it does look pretty cool uh, looking at these photos. Let's see here. One sec. So it'll definitely be very interesting when it's finished. And I was just going through this website and I just took down some notes of the highlights here. So one of the big things for this part of town is to create the conditions for a healthy tree canopy. Now, I've said this for a long time, that Stephen Avenue is kind of like a concrete jungle. There's not much greenery there, and it would look a lot better with some bigger trees and stuff like that. Um, so I've said this for a while, and I, I think that will definitely help. They're trying to have it uh, have, a, have a safer feel to it, that people will stay here more than just a 9 to 5. They'll stay here after hours as well. They're also trying to make this area have a special feel to it, like it's a real, not an honor, but like a, a special occasion to come down to this area. It's got more of a special feel to it. Uh, they'll have high quality paving all the way to 11th Street. So I pulled that map again. City Hall's over here. 
and 8th Avenue and Stephen Avenue, it'll, it'll extend all the way to 11th Street over here. And the plan is to also connect it to the Plus 15 network. Now, I always assumed that it was already connected to the Plus 15 network. I could be wrong, but that's a plan to improve accessibility, I suppose. If you're not familiar with, with Calgary, the Plus 15 is a network of like, uh, bridges and tunnels that connect every building in the downtown core. So you don't have to walk outside in the wintertime. And so I always thought that we already had that on Stephen Avenue, but I guess I'm wrong. And the last major thing to mention about this area, what they're trying to do is make it a space that's diverse, inclusive, better quality street furniture, like public benches, bike racks, um, more shade, public seating, lighting, waste, recycling, bike racks, have pedestrian priority mindsets, and vehicles will also be prohibited on Stephen Avenue, which I thought should have happened a long time ago. And uh, so I think when it's finally done, it will be a cool part of Calgary. Not that it isn't already, it is still a cool part of Calgary, but they can make it a lot better, and I think this will definitely help the city. And next up is the Arts Commons expansion. So I'll just show you here on the map. So here's the Arts Commons. Again, this is right downtown. This continues the theme of trying to revitalize the downtown part of Calgary. And this will be a $450 million expansion to the Arts Commons. And it will help increase the seating capacity by, I think, 25 to 30%. Actually, 25 to 35% expansion of the seating capacity. So here's where it's located, right, right across from Olympic Plaza. You've got Stephen Avenue right here. And you can see there's expansion over here, modernization of the project. And uh, to be honest, I've actually never been to the Arts Commons. So <laughs> I'm a bit guilty here. I don't find Calgary to be the most artsy of cities, but hopefully this will help uh, transform the city in that, on that front. And it should be quite interesting when it's finished. And hopefully it does attract some world-class artists to Calgary. And again, this will help uh, with the culture, with business, uh, with tourism and stuff like that. So I, I think it's a good idea to, to focus on things like this. And I think it will definitely help the city going forward. And last up, but certainly not least, let's talk about the future of the C-Train in Calgary, starting with the Green Line. And uh, so I'll pull up the map here. If you know Calgary, you'll understand that it covers a massive area of the city. And the Green Line is by no means a small undertaking. This is actually the largest infrastructure project in the city's history. It uh, creates a whole new line uh, for the mass transit from the deep southeast all the way from the southeast into the inner city through downtown and then up north central Calgary. It'll be completed in a few stages. The first stage will start at Shepherd and it will go, I thought it was gonna stop at Eau Claire the first stage, but it looks like it might stop at 16th Avenue instead which is a good idea. 16th Avenue is actually the Trans-Canada Highway. And um, so it, it's definitely going to benefit the city, especially the, the, I think the deep southeast will benefit the most. There's a massive population in this part of Calgary, and at the moment there's no mass transit at all. And I am quite interested to see how it'll work uh, going through downtown. And uh, we already mentioned earlier the, cult, the Culture and Entertainment District. That's this section right over here. So it'll have a C-Train stop right here on 4th Street. Uh, it's a great idea. It'll also, it'll also go through kind of the ramsey Inglewood area through the Beltline. This will be very good for the Beltline as well. It can connect the Beltline into the downtown. And then all of these neighborhoods up north central will benefit from the C-Train. So I, I think it's a great idea. It's been under planning and they've changed the plan so many times but it finally looks like they are going ahead with it and I think construction has already started um, which is good news. And continuing on with the C train here there are some ideas floating around the, the city council and one of those ideas is to connect the airport with the blue line in Calgary. So I'm actually going to pull that up here so you can see what I'm talking about. So right now, the blue line it ends at Saddletown. And what they're trying to do is extend the blue line further north and then have a connector to the airport. And the idea is to connect the blue line to the deep northeast and the green line, which will run up north central, with a line going to the airport. I think this is a great idea. If you're asking me if, if there was a new uh, mayoral election and they came up with this idea, I would vote for that person. This, is, this has to be done. Every major city should have like a connection to the airport. I don't know why Calgary is so hesitant to do this. Like, my whole life they've been talking about this, but they just can't seem to get it done. Um, but it looks like they're, they're really trying to do it. 
The status here, functional planning completed in 2020, land acquisition near completion. So it's definitely something they're thinking about, and I, I do think they should go ahead with it. Next up, let's talk about the Blue Line Northeast LRT extension. This is what we just mentioned earlier, but I'll show you the actual map here. So the Blue Line right now ends at Saddletown, and they're trying to make a few more stops, 88th Avenue, Country Hills Boulevard, and then up to Stone Gates. So this project, the status, detailed design and construction can begin immediately to be ready for the airport transit connector between the Blue Line and airport terminal. So it sounds to me like they're going ahead with it, which I do think is a great idea. And another idea they're still kind of mulling over, as far as I know, is a, is a Foothills multi-sport field house. And uh, this has been a tough go. I, I think Calgary desperately needs something like this, but it's been a work in progress for a long time. And the current status of it is the city of Calgary has, has put away 109 million towards the project. And they're waiting for different levels of government to help them out uh, from the sector for the public and private sector and different levels of government to help with this project. At the moment, it's still kind of uh, in limbo, but I do think it's a good project that could happen uh, going forward into the future. All right, to summarize, Calgary is on the up and up. There's a lot of new developments coming to the city in the near future and beyond. And Calgary, at a glance, we have the highest personal income per capita of Canada's major cities, the highest head office concentration in Canada, the second lowest cost of living in the country, the highest GDP per capita of major Canadian cities. The average age is about 37, so a bit young in terms of uh, Canada. 41% of the population is a visible minority, so it's a place for everybody. It's a very diverse city, 1,000 kilometers of pathways. It's a very active city, very nature-focused, and with a growing population. This is why I actually made this video. There are thousands of new residents arriving annually from across Canada and the world, and they need to buy homes, uh, buying and selling. If you are thinking of, of relocating here or moving from other parts of the country, I want to help you out. Again, you can call, text, email, comment. You can check out my website. I'm easy to get a hold of. All of that information is in my written description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.